You know, I was expecting them to just, like, make make the walls of this gym completely invisible, but no. I guess that's a good thing I can say about it. The gym itself isn't that bad. So I have no idea what to expect. I'm going to send in my highest level just for, you know, just because I don't know what's what's to come. Let's go. Oh god, poison and sleep techniques. That's going to be fun. Alright. Yep. I knew this would happen. Okay, let's gonna use sleep powder again. Try to miss. Oh, it didn't use sleep powder, that's surprising. Critical hit. Hey, critical hit. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, Alright, Charizard. Alright, we'll, we'll just go for it right now. Ooh, this is gonna be bad. Yep. Let's go for a blizzard. Ah, uh, not quite. All right. At this point, let's just get a razor wind in. Almost, actually. Wow. Everything just fucking has Thunderbolt and, st and, and the likes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh jeez, oh that... That beep. That first beep, holy crap. That was bad. Let's just... Yeah, I feel like this is just gonna kill one shot. Oh, no. Actually, wow. Alright. Oh, fuck you. So I feel he's gonna Hyper Potion on this turn. Nope. Does he not have Hyper Potions? I don't have any Awakenings, do I? Okay, I have a Pokeflute. I think that works on Party Pokemon. Okay, yeah, that makes... that's fine. I'll work with that. For Sand Slash, get, get him out. Ooh, that's, that could be bad. And by that I mean, you know, it will be bad, but, you know. Tentacruel, that's an interesting... That's, to be fair, that's an interesting, like, finale there. I don't know if this is gonna be the strongest of his Pokémon or the weakest of his Pokémon. Like, you know, at this point, you can never really tell. Now with Blizzard, I don't know what to expect. I have a feeling I'm gonna outspeed it, but... Nope, I didn't. Holy crap. 
Wow, okay, this is... I'm definitely gonna lose right here. Yep. Okay, well, that was a close fight, though. Like, not gonna lie, that... It didn't... It wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. So... I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try again. Right, like, right away. No, actually, you know what? Let's go to the Safari Zone. I'm actually kind of tempted to give it a try, so let's do that. And fuck, I just realized I jumped off that ledge, I'm gonna have to go to Lavender Town. Okay, well at least it's just Lavender Town and then, and then I can just fly straight here again. That's not that bad. I can, I can work with that. That's okay. We have a lot of money right now, so it's not the worst. Actually, if I had an escape rope right now, I think I could escape out of the Safari Zone and into um, like the last Pokemon Center I used, but unfortunately, we don't have that. I could white out, but I have a lot of money. I don't want to waste. I say that as I was about to go back to Koga, like, right away again. Okay, so... This specific opening in the trees is the entrance to the next area. Th that precise opening. You see how specific this has to be? Okay, good thing that didn't count as a step. Now these items, just just forget about them. <laughs> you can come back in and get them later, but I mean they're like they will still cost you money, obviously, to, to keep going back in and getting these. Is it worth it? Um, there are a few rare candies here, and there's the Skull Bash TM. There's like another TM I forget. There's a max potion you have to get. Other than that, though, I, I don't know. Like, I don't really know what's what's worth it, what's not. All right, I don't think I've made any mistakes yet. I think I've just been going like a straight path. Assuming that like bumping into walls doesn't count as a mistake, which I really hope to God it doesn't. I'm really just trying to get through here as quickly as possible because you got to keep doing this in order to learn the way. Okay, I believe it's up here you go to. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. I'm just really like trying to see when when there I could potentially make a mistake, and I'm I'm, I'm anticipating it at any any second now. <laughs> also, my keyboard sometimes like the arrow keys like stick in such a way. It's it's weird. It's not physically like sticking, but it, like it just like oh you press the arrow keys. Oh, you're still pressing the arrow keys even though I like let go like an hour ago. All right, whatever. Kind of scared me a little, but it's okay. I forget if I. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it and go up. I believe it's. No, it's not. Oh, I screwed up. It's this way, isn't it? Yeah, it's this way. Oh. See, like I have like about 35 steps. I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna barely lose. Wait, that's not it, is it? Oh, it's even further down! Fuck, I missed it! <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> Alright, trying it again.
Shit, shit. That could have costed me. Right at the end, too. That's fuck. That sucks. 19 steps. 8 steps. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> All right. All right, I'm going to have to think about this really hard when I get to that area. Okay, I think I did it. I think I did it. Five steps, four, three, two, one. Oh my God. <laughs> oh Jesus. I got HMO3. Oh, that was one of the hardest things. Not even really hard, it's just annoying, because... Ugh, my god. So I'm going back to Lavender Town, and... At least I have a smile on my face, because that was fucking annoying. <laughs> like, you have no idea, oh my god. Like, you have no idea how many attempts it took before that to understand that layout. And that one mistake just fucking cost me the game. That is... That is so unfortunate. Anyway... I'm gonna have to go back in there for the gold teeth. And I have a different path now because I'll be able to use Surf after beating Koga. So that's gonna be... Interesting. Yeah, so... See you back in the gym. Alright. So knowing that Venomoth came first, I am prepared... And brought Charizard as my main, or not as my main, as my lead. Last time it one shot, but that was also a crit, so... Yeah, I figured. Alright. Get Sand Slash out here. Hopefully it does not self-destruct, however, eh, you know, knowing Weezing. Knowing this, especially Koga's Weezing, even in the original game. That is new. Okay, then. Alright, then, um... Mr. Mime. Going for it. Alright, should I use my pawn now? I don't I don't know right now. 
Let's get Pidgeot here. Don't you dare fucking kill. Okay, good. No king. Um, let's try Dragonite. We need to outspeed it. I think it also has Blizzard. Get okay, a Thunderbolt, which can do some damage, although... Okay, it did not do, like, any damage, so it's always good. Okay! You were just saving that. Son of a bitch. And a fourth. Alright, let's get Beedrill out here as as my pawn. And Poke Flute for Sand Slash to come out and kill this thing. Hey we got okay, we got a few another another turn for items. Let's be sure. Let's be safe. Better safe than sorry. How do you say sorry? Are you do you say it the I guess the Canadian way, sorry, or the American way, sorry? Okay. Not expect that. What can outspeed a tentacruel? Charizard? Oh no, he, he didn't outspeed it last time. Okay, um... I should give this lemonade to... Pidgeot? Let's give it a chance. All right. Yep, you're good. That's to get a kill. And Tentacruel is pretty damn good. Stop fucking critting! Everything's fucking critting! Holy f Ugh, my god. Doesn't even need to crit for this. That was a close fight, unfortunately, though. I can't outspeed it, and of course it of course it hits. No, can't can't miss. Can't miss. I don't know what to do right now. I might train to level 70 and then fight that gym. There's interruptions anyway, so... Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue after, uh, after I cut it, but... Eh, we'll find out later. I might train to level 70, honestly. Everyone. So see you later.